What up, everybody? This is Michael Cora, and this is my officially unofficial review of the Air Jordan 4 Retro Special Edition Sashiko. This is an exclusive overseas colorway. And as you can see, look at this. This is just something special, absolutely. That box, it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see that, that flight logo, that just the detailing on the box, the air on the box. You can see the Asian tag on the right side because this is an overseas exclusive. And this one is in a deep ocean fire red and sail colorway. And I remember when the Jordan 4s first came out in 1989. See, I'm an old man. And when the Jordan 4s first came out, they had the fire red Jordan. Then they had the bread Jordan. Then they had the, the cement Jordan. And then they released the military blue Jordan. And ever since then, they've come out with many different colorways, many different iterations of it. But, you know, in my whole time seeing them release Jordan 4s retros from the beginning... And all the retros after that, nothing, nothing is, I have never seen anything like this. This is the best Jordan 4 that they have ever released, period. And look at that inside of that box. You can see the fire red on the inside of the box right there. And look, this is one thing that I love about this Jordan right here, if you look at it real closely. One thing that makes this so special is they have this four-way paper. It opens up vertically like that you can see it's like a wax paper but it's in a, a, a nice sail color gives it that real vintage classic vibe and then horizontally you got the the standard acid paper and it's cool because look at it, it contrasts it's kind of like glossy on the inside where the other one is glossy on the outside and as you can see i got these from goat and what I love about GOAT is they have a very quick turnaround rate and they have amazing prices. No processing fee, always guaranteed to get something high quality and authentic. Plus, you can order these and pay them for them with Afterpay, which allows you to get them in four quick and easy installments. You pay those bi-weekly and it's worth it. It just gives you more access to the most exclusive shoes. And that's that's something you gotta love about goat and and if you look at it this is the right shoe looking at the inside of the shoe you see that fire red air sole unit encapsulated in that sail and deep ocean midsole that phylon midsole and you can see the tpu wings that support you right there by the eyelets in there and look at them geometric patterns Look at the geometric pattern on the heel counter. It's absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, you have the contrasting inside of the shoe that has the orchid flower patterns with that orchid tab where it normally says Air Jordan. And it's beautiful. It has like indigo on the heel with white orchids and then white on the tongue with the blue orchids. And as you can see, it has that red toe box with that beautiful texture contrasted with that deep blue wefted denim on the toe as well and this is a very high quality denim and there's very high quality stitching and the detail on it is absolutely amazing and i love those red laces and how they really make that jordan stand out they really make this shoe pop and everything on this shoe is just amazing it's a work of art it's like having a Smithsonian Museum on your foot, you know? Look at that. And, you know, I'm going to get to that later, but if you look at that toe, and you can see how I'm feeling that. The texture is just beautiful. It's soft. It, it has this 3D texture to it that you can literally feel the wefting in the denim. You can feel that white wefting in the denim. And at the same time, you see that, once again, that geometric heel counter design. What I like about that heel counter is you know when you look at the back of that you can see the also the indigo patch on the back that has that geometric pattern it just really stands out it's it's crazy it's like it contrasts that white indigo that white geometric pattern with the indigo geometric pattern on the on the inside of that shoe and that white pattern that you see on the heel counter you know what i love about that white pattern and i'm about to show you in a second is that it actually shows through the Jordan logo in the back. And look at the detail of this denim. Absolutely. Just beautiful. Beautiful shoe. And when you look at this shoe, once again, I'm about to turn it around and show you the back. You know, let me let me turn this bad boy around real quick. Show you what it is. Look at this heel counter. You can see right through the Jordan logo, it has that geometric pattern. And it really pops. It really stands out. It's crazy. 
Like it's like Jordan is playing through the stars. Hey, this this is this is legit. This ain't even a sponsored review. This is just me honestly. This is a sneakerhead review from a pure sneakerhead. I just appreciate these. Appreciate the art. Appreciate the detail. Appreciate the quality and the denim. You know, once again, you see where I got it from. You know what's up. You know what time it is. Look at that. You know, and I'm about to show you the left shoe right here real quick. I got to put the GOAT logo to the side. As you can see, it has that contrasting geometric pattern on the ankle area. And the eyelid is contrasting. And instead of having that red on the toe of this shoe, it has the red on the tongue. And then it has the red on the inside near the heel counter, which is just really amazing. I love how they do that. And then the, this particular pair has the blue laces. And I love how that pattern is. You could feel those little specks in there. there. It's like 3D. It just really stands out. This is what I love about these, you know, about any Jordans. Like they had the elephant print with the threes. You knew they were real because you could feel the, the pattern itself. You can feel the texturing on it. It's just something something special. And as you can see, I'm gonna show you real close, but you can, first of all, you can see the netting in it. Instead of it having the plastic netting like on most Jordan 4s, this has a traditional Sashiko type of netting. And on the back here on the heel counter, you can see the waves. Those are actually scales. They, use, they look like Wi-Fi signals. I mean, it looks like Jordan is on 10, like fully connected, just with them them Wi-Fi signal on the back and I love how that pops through the heel counter like that that's absolutely amazing I love that and the heel tab everything it's just an absolute classic you know, I had the Jordan 4 tattoos which were just a solid black on the back but this this right here this is something special absolutely I, I love this shoe. Look, look at real close at these geometric patterns, that paisley pattern with the plain indigo and the white on the on the ankle right there. It just really makes it stand out. And I just have to show you close-ups of the fabric and the denim so you can just appreciate the detail and the quality that they put in this shoe. This is this is something to behold. I mean, it's a really thick, durable denim. But at the same time, it's really soft to the to the touch. When you touch this denim, it's really soft. The, the inside kind of feels like a very high quality pair of denim jeans. You know, I have a pair of Made in Crafted's. They got kind of like this rough texture, but that's how you know that they're very high quality. And it's, it's very rough, but it's durable as hell. Like that is a really durable denim inside there. And you can see it has the contrasting orchid flowers that contrast and give it a little bit of a difference from the other shoe you know that's what i love about it and look at those there's that spider web pattern up close you can see the spider web pattern and you can see the designs in the denim and how the wefting looks and how it really gives it that denim some character and you see those geometric patterns on the eyelets right there just beautiful beautiful translucent uh wing right there we called those wings back in the day it was probably the best way to put it that's a wing it's for support and it just it really gives this shoe that signature character this right here this, and then i love this card look at this card that they gave me normally goat gives me this white card you know that just has everything punched all crazy this one is like they put it on a machine they had to look how even all that is but it's, I love it. It just makes you feel like you have something one of a kind, something absolutely special. And then of course, you know, I'm, I'm rocking these. I can't wait to put these on. I can't wait to show out in these right here. I'm definitely gonna turn a lot of heads with this one. And they don't sell it in America. So you definitely gotta love that. That definitely makes you feel like you the man. And you know, of course, there's gonna be a little bit of distressing in the, in the midsole itself, as you can see. But, I mean, I can live with that because, you know, that's just going to add to the character of the shoe anyway. And that usually happens. That, that's something that comes with the box. When they, they ship the box, the shoe moves around, and sometimes it'll, it'll do that to the midsole. The Jordan 4 has been like that since the beginning of time. I mean, there's always been imperfections in it. But you can't see it from far away, so I'm not making a big deal of it. And due to the distressed nature of the denim, it kind of gives it its own little character it's kind of putting your own little spin on it i've i've traveled here i've traveled there and this is 
what happens when you move around, you know? You gotta move around in these right here. This right here is my officially unofficial review <laughs> of the Jordan 4 Retro Special Edition Sashiko. And I'm just glad that you took the time to check out my review. And I hope that you enjoy this review. This is truly something I, I, I had to do for everybody because I've seen a lot of reviews, but I really wanted to show you how special this shoe was. I really wanted to capture the essence and the detail of this beautiful shoe. Once again, if you ever get a chance, you need to go on go right now and get yourself a pair today. You won't regret it, honestly. And once again, thank you very much for your time. This is Michael Cora. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.